if you already purchased the product you can download the latest version update and update it from your uh, domain okay so here our you can see our academy laravel lms and if you go below to this page you will see the version log okay the product is released in may 3 and these are the updates we have provided for version 1.6 okay so let's go to the application and see what we have implemented so far we have added some new payment gateways ssl commerce amar pay doku and maxi cash and you can configure this option in from the your payment settings so from admin panel uh, go to payment settings and you will see the options for those payment gateways ssl commerce amar pay doku and maxi cash just configure your credential and you can use them in your application next knowledge based module so knowledge based module in the knowledge based module section from your admin site admin you can add uh, some knowledge based question regarding your site and answer them uh, so your instructor student or customer who visited your website can learn regarding your website So first create a title for knowledge base system and under that title you can add articles or many many more things. So you can as you can see you can add article here, article title, article description and if you add the article it will be added in your site. And Okay. Uh, and if we go to the front end and from the footer section your user can check the knowledge base question and this answer okay And if you click in the any title and we will see the details of that article next is scrum support uh, our latest edition is the scrum support okay so uh, if you go to the course section manage courses and go any courses so let's go to the this course and from here if you click on add section no, sorry if you click on add lesson you will find an option called scrum content okay so from here if you click on next provide a description here for this and you will see the option for what type of a scrum file you are going to provide as spring articulate add of act uh, captivate so I spring then upload the file from here so here is the scrum content file I have uh, uploaded the file now I need to add the lesson so a lesson is added in here for module 1 okay. so this is our scrum content next our next update is admin can export the language json file from for easier translation uh, now the next update is admin can export language json file for easier translation okay so from system settings go to language settings manage language <coughs> and in here you will see import language option so you can import the json file of your uh, translated language file and choose uh, to upload the file in any language which you previously created uh, so you can add new language and import the language file json file from from here and you can also export the file okay so from here if you create a new language you will see the export language button uh, you just export the file then after modify your json file just upload the json file here and import that file 
it will uh, update the uh, language file for you one users can now apply as instructor from the sign up page okay so our latest addition that uh, previously our instructor uh, instructor can only be created from the admin panel but we have implemented the uh, for a form for instructor who can uh, apply for instructor from the front end page so if i log out from here okay create an account when i click on create an account i will see the sign up page in if you scroll down you will see apply to become an instructor button here if you click in this one i'll additional field will be added here and just uh, fill up this form and then sign up and you will be uh, sign up as an instructor for academy lara lms next time zone settings <clears throat> admin can now change the time zone from settings panel so a additional settings for time zone is provided in the admin panel quizzes are now automatically marked as completed upon sub uh, submission previously for drip content uh, we haven't implemented these settings yet but now in our latest update version 1.6 we have provided uh, a update for the quizzes where when you submit a quiz it will automatically mark the quiz as mark as completed then instructor can now set courses as lifetime and limited time access so previously when uh, previously when instructor uh, was there uh, he can't uh, uh, add lifetime or limited time but as an admin we, we provide the update for the admin who can uh, use lifetime or limited time for the course when they could create the courses but uh, instructor couldn't create that but in our latest edition we have provided this update also so now from instructor panel you can set the time duration of your courses so i log in as instructor go to instructor dashboard courses add new courses from here you can see the expiry period of your course is provided a lifetime or limited time if it is a limited time you just need to set the number of months the course will be available after the purchase added offline payment support in the tutor booking system so another uh, option for the instructor payment is available now that is offline payment previously this option was not available uh, instructor can now change their own profile and password okay so previously uh, instructor uh, password was uh, change uh, was not available in the system but currently they are they will be able to change their password from their profile okay so manage profile settings so from here they can change their or update their password email verification can be skipped when an admin creates a account manually for any user if the email verification is on in our system so next uh, we also added some more fixes in this version 1.6 update some of them are offline payment coupon issue is fixed previously of in for offline payment the coupon code was not uh, getting uh, used uh, so uh, additional charge or the amount for the course was displayed incorrectly newsletter recapture was not working uh, uh, so we have uh, updated the code for this one and currently newsletter recapture is working bootcamp live icon and duration in, uh, was uh, not showing correctly uh, it is fixed in this version courses now displayed in descending order by default and many more minor changes and fixes and improvements are provided in this version 1.6 so stay tuned with academy laravel lms 